In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips on how to start and develop the habit of journaling daily to help you on your way to establishing this as another way to level up your life. So stay tuned. What is up, Next Level Nation? This is your man Johnny F here with Next Level Warrior, sharing insight and tips on everything from transforming your body to transforming your mind, helping you to become your next level self. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so you can become part of the Next Level community. Journaling daily, like any keystone habit, can be difficult to start and certainly challenging to incorporate as part of a daily routine. This may be easier for some, but since you found your way over here, I can only assume that you could use a helping hand. So let's get right to it. Tip number one, set up your environment. The easiest way to develop a new habit is to set up your environment for it. Removing any obstacles or small decisions that you would normally have to make before your pen hits that paper. Think about it like this. It's the first day that you've committed to start journaling. You're excited and you're ready to go. You make it over to your desk and it's cluttered. Now you need to clear it. Find your journal. Look for a pen. Open up your journal. You see where I'm going with this. This may not seem like a lot, but every single step that sits between you and your objective is robbing you of your decision-making power making it much easier to actually avoid what you set out to accomplish. In the night before, take a moment to clear and prepare the space that you'll be writing in your journal. This could be at a desk or a kitchen table. Leave your journal neatly laid out with a pen ready for you. And a glass of water? Sure, hydration's always good. As soon as you make it to your writing space, you have everything working out in your favor to actually doing it. Another point for success here. Make sure that there is nothing around to distract you. This means no smartphone in your writing space. And make sure that it's in the other room on airplane mode. Tip number two, journal first thing in the morning. The reason I suggest doing this first thing in the morning is very simple. Whenever starting a new habit, if you're like me, then the more time that goes on throughout your day, the easier it becomes to actually put it off. The dreaded, I'll do it tomorrow complex will likely come into full effect all the excuses from a certain reasoning voice will start to come through. You know the voice I'm talking about. You don't have time for that. Aren't you tired? Let's go make some coffee first. Uh, let's just start this tomorrow. Yeah, that's a better idea. Our subconscious mind is very good at sticking to its agenda. It's that autopilot that we've been unknowingly programming for years, and it will typically do what it can to keep you stuck in your old ways. Maybe this isn't you. But since you're watching this, then you're likely a human being. And as such, you've probably experienced this, just as I have, and still continue to. Believe me though, it does get easier. Tip number three, keep it short. With starting any new habit, it's best to avoid lengthy sessions. This helps us to build momentum to form the new habit, which does take time. When I started, I was far from being aware of this which resulted in writing over three pages my first intentional morning. Of course, it felt great, but I realized very quickly that it's best to keep it much shorter initially. Why? Well, over the course of the next week, I completely avoided journaling. As soon as I got back to it though, I found the sweet spot in writing just a single page. This made it much easier for me to mentally commit to. If this amount doesn't work for you, then you can break it down further. Half a page, a single paragraph, or even just a sentence. I know, maybe that sounds ridiculous, but that's the whole point. If you simplify this to the point of total absurdity, then your mind has no choice but to say, okay, all right, I can definitely do that. Once you've got this locked down, then you can adjust it as you see fit. Though for the first few weeks, let's keep this short and simply set the target of writing in your journal every single morning. Tip number four, write anything you want. Now, we've all got an idea of how we think journaling should be done. Unfortunately though, this could very well become the barrier that's set up between us actually forming this as a habit. Do yourself a favor and let go of these ideas. Allow for as much variety as possible. This will greatly increase your ability to solidify this as a daily practice. Your journal is a blank canvas to write as you wish. Thoughts, feelings, what you're excited about, Gratitudes, the list goes on. Keep it open. Tip number five, remind yourself of why you're doing this. Reminding yourself of why you chose to do this is gonna play a big role in the formation of this habit. 
Do you remember that reasoning voice that I mentioned back in tip number two? Well, it may come back through from time to time saying things like, are you still doing that silly journaling thing every day? How is this even benefiting your life? I don't see any difference in you. Why don't we just sleep in a bit longer instead of writing today? Sound familiar? Well, it sure does to me. This is why it's so important to remind ourselves of why we chose to form this habit. Because the truth is that seeing any sort of results or improvement in our lives can be difficult at times. Growing up, we're not exactly taught how to measure the progress of our goals and achievements. Similar to having a daily meditation practice, this is one of those slow and steady wins the race kind of deal. And definitely one that's well worth it. Take the opportunity once a week during the habit formation period to write out and answer these questions. Why did I start journaling daily? How has my life changed since I started? This will help to put things in perspective for you, so you can solidify to yourself why you chose to do this in the first place. Journaling is a habit that I highly suggest taking on as part of a successful morning routine. One in which sets you up to have incredible mornings right from the get-go. The steps that I've provided are simply a guideline. Steps that have worked for me and other people that I've helped support. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video and taking on another opportunity to level up your life. If you've got any additional questions, please make sure to comment down below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with the latest Next Level Warrior videos. Until then, never stop growing.